Menami had just finished building a snowman and decided to take a picture with it. Afterwards, she entered the school and spotted Tsubasa standing alone. She approached and whispered, startling Tsubasa. She felt delighted upon seeing a poster announcing the upcoming snow festival. Curious, she asked, and it turned out that Tsubasa wanted to attend the festival over. The weekend. Following Tsubasa's words, Menami decided to accompany him to the festival. As Menami left, Tsubasa, surprised by her willingness to join him, was left in astonishment. Inside Minami's house, various dishes were laid out on the dining table. Minami's younger sister expressed joy after savoring her mother's homemade potato machi, also pleased with the cheese machi. Minami's mother offered katsujin to Minami before sitting down to eat together. While waiting for her husband to return, Minami's mother discussed the upcoming holiday. The younger sister wanted to go skiing, but Menami couldn't join due to her plans for the snow festival. Feeling upset, the younger sister received an apology from Menami, reminded by her mother. Of Menami's similar actions in elementary school, the younger sister softened. Shortly after, Menami's father arrived and the family welcomed him. Menami, choosing not to attend, watched news about the snow festival on her phone. The next day, Tsubasa had already set off. He saw Minami's message instructing him to meet in front of the station, never expecting that Minami would join him at the festival. Seeing a photo of Minami, he was pleasantly surprised. After calming his nervousness, he decided to enjoy the event, thinking Minami invited him just to be friends. Walking alone, Tsubasa eventually reached Katsami Station. Soon after, Minami arrived in stylish attire, causing Tsubasa to feel nervous again. He didn't expect Menami to wear such clothes outside. Menami confirmed Tsubasa's observation and asked for his opinion on her looking cute. Tsubasa agreed but upset Menami by appearing nervous. Tsubasa brought up Menami's last festival visit during elementary school, recalling snow sculptures in various food stalls. Menami, not expecting much from the festival, left quickly. They strolled together, admiring the snowy scenery. Upon reaching the festival, they encountered various stalls, snow sculptures, children playing and people having fun. Despite Minami's initial worry, Tsubasa thoroughly enjoyed the festival. Minami was pleased and they both admired a large snow sculpture. Tsubasa intended to take a photo, but Minami hugged his arm and took a selfie with the sculpture instead. While capturing the moment, Tsubasa's eyes appeared tired, causing embarrassment. Ignoring Tsubasa's words, Menami, enticed by the aroma of food, invited Tsubasa to explore the festival's culinary offerings. Tsubasa went to the stall offering hotong and bought one with the sugar flavor. Menami enjoyed the yakitori she had purchased and shortly after, Tsubasa arrived with his hotong. Menami looked at the hotong and then smiled. She wanted to taste it, so she opened her mouth, leaving Tsubasa confused. Eventually, Tsubasa let Menami have the hot on, feeling relieved, though secretly confused as Menami had already taken a bite. Wanting to dismiss his odd thoughts, Tsubasa decided to eat the hot on himself, making Menami smile. Menami didn't expect Tsubasa to be so straightforward, and they both continued their journey through the festival. Seeing Menami so happy, Tsubasa also felt joyous. Later, they took a break and sipped warm amazette. Tsubasa expressed delight at the snow exhibition and all the ice at the festival, feeling the stark contrast to the scenes in Tokyo. He thanked Menami for accompanying him, surprising her. Initially worried about not enjoying the festival, Menami had feared disappointing Tsubasa. However, her worries faded as she saw Tsubasa having fun. Her fondness for Hokkaido grew after the festival, and she was pleased to have attended it with Tsubasa, making him nervous. As she continued speaking, she moved her feet and slipped. Luckily, Tsubasa quickly ran and caught Menami before she fell. Their faces were close, surprising them both. Tsubasa apologized, but Menami brushed it off, thanking him for his help. After the late afternoon, they headed home from the festival. Hearing Tsubasa inviting her to go out another time, Menami felt happy. 
She didn't expect that Tsubasa wanted to spend time alone with her, and suggested going to the Sapporo Snow Festival. They continued walking together until they reached their respective homes. The next day, both of them went to school again. Since the lunch bell had rung, Menami invited Tsubasa to have lunch with her. She had prepared food for Tsubasa and brought instant yakisoba, as sometimes instant yakisoba has a delicious taste. She also bought yakisoba because she had noticed Tsubasa's joy. While eating Hokkaido food earlier, Tsubasa felt embarrassed, and then Menami poured the hot water she had prepared into the yakisoba. The yakisoba only needed three minutes to cook, surprising Tsubasa. Menami intended to give Tsubasa a trick, so she took the seasoning that would be mixed with the water from the yakisoba to make soup. Looking at the yakisoba in soup, Tsubasa seemed eager to eat both. Menami took the yakisoba and fed Tsubasa. After Tsubasa swallowed the yakisoba, he found it delicious. Menami, seeing Tsubasa so enthusiastic, reminded him of the food debt during the snow festival. She chuckled at Tsubasa's blushing face and then noticed the lunchbox Tsubasa brought. Tsubasa opened his lunchbox and Menami felt very happy and wanted to take a picture of it. Since Tsubasa offered his lunchbox, Menami wanted to taste the meat inside. She was pleased with the tender and fatty meat she ate, only to find out that the meat was made by Tsubasa's grandmother. After both of them finished their lunches, Tsubasa thanked her for trying instant yakisoba for the first time, and for giving him many new experiences. Menami was surprised by Tsubasa's words. She didn't expect Tsubasa had never done these things before. Tsubasa confirmed Menami's words, revealing he had never experienced enjoyable moments with friends or girls. Menami tried to think about it all, then guessed that Tsubasa might be very wealthy because he had a different aura. Tsubasa denied this, but Menami didn't believe him. Instead, she planned to visit Tsubasa's house to hang out. After school, the two of them finally headed home together towards Tsubasa's house. Tsubasa reluctantly agreed to Minami's invitation because Menami used a deadly move. Tsubasa worried because his grandmother was at home, but Menami instead crawled into the igloo in front of her, surprising Tsubasa. He tried to speak, but Menami pulled him into the igloo. Inside the rather cramped igloo, they both felt the warmth. Tsubasa wanted to leave, but Menami pulled his shirt and spoke in a strange voice confusing Tsubasa. Tsubasa quickly went out due to confusion, but a woman saw him. The woman was shocked by Tsubasa's actions. Tsubasa was also surprised because the woman turned out to be his grandmother, who had already heard Minami's voice. Tsubasa intended to give an explanation, but Minami came and hugged his arm. She also smiled, surprising both Tsubasa and his grandmother. After hearing Tsubasa's explanation, Menami became very happy. After introducing herself, she also mentioned eating food made by Tsubasa's grandmother. Tsubasa's grandmother looked displeased upon hearing that, but Menami didn't stop talking and expressed her love for Tsubasa's grandmother's food. Tsubasa's grandmother listened carefully, thanked Menami, and then asked about the relationship between Menami and Tsubasa. Tsubasa explained that they were classmates, leaving Menami confused and eventually confirming Tsubasa's words. As the snow began to fall, Tsubasa's grandmother apologized to Menami for having to take Tsubasa home. After Tsubasa's grandmother used her umbrella, Tsubasa quickly left, leaving Menami alone. Tsubasa felt guilty because his grandmother didn't like Menami being too close to others. Feeling that his joy had come to an end, he became sad. Suddenly, Menami appeared behind him and explained about Tsubasa's grandmother using an umbrella. She discouraged it because Menami's grandmother could slip just like Tsubasa's grandmother. Tsubasa's grandmother promptly closed her umbrella. After that, Menami asked about Tsubasa's house out of curiosity. Menami explained the slippery path to Tsubasa's house, so she intended to guide Tsubasa and his grandmother through a different route. Menami immediately helped Tsubasa's grandmother because she wanted her to make another delicious meal with her own hands. Tsubasa took over carrying the belongings, then realized that Menami was upset because he called her a classmate. In reality, 
He considered Menami a precious friend, making Menami very happy. While debating this, the two of them headed towards Tsubasa's house. Upon arriving in front of Tsubasa's house, Menami looked surprised at Tsubasa's house. She was about to lead with an excuse, but Tsubasa's grandmother stopped her and asked her to have warm tea inside. After Menami agreed to the invitation, Tsubasa's grandmother immediately prepared green tea. She tried to accept Tsubasa's choice of Menami as his friend. When she opened the door, she was surprised to find Menami taking photos of everything in the room. She intended to keep an eye on Menami due to that behavior. Seeing Tsubasa laughing, she remembered when Tsubasa was still a child, wanting to be important to help her. At that time, young Tsubasa also smiled, which surprised her now. She decided to trust Menami because of that smile. Then she went inside and served the tea she had made to Tsubasa and Menami. In the end, a teacher distributed guidebooks for the upcoming ski practice next week. He instructed all students to check their seating arrangements. After examining the seating plan, Tsubasa felt happy because Menami was sitting in front of him. However, he was a bit confused because a student named Akino would be sitting next to him. In her seat, Akino, a girl with purple eyes and hair, was engrossed in playing a game. She had a beautiful face and seemed to be enjoying herself.